Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Noel King and welcome on back to my dog yelling. I'm just kidding. We're going back to the little gator game. Yeah, you're gonna hear my dog yelling. I think there's somebody taking out the trash or something outside, but in the last episode we went ahead and finally started up here. I, there's so many seats up here that you can just sit at. You know, it's actually surprising that there's so many seats and they're all sittable. Like I, I don't know why they're all sittable to be on honest, but welcome on back to the little gator game. We'll go ahead and roll. Yeah, man, this game is just so much fun just to play around now, I'll tell you what, but this episode we're gonna go ahead and finally take on the actual, like, story mission here for the mountain. So let's go ahead and get started by talking to Avery and his friends here. And there were a bunch of slimes, but my favorite ones were squat flat like this. Sounds like fun, who all else is playing? Only everyone on the island, it's gonna be great. Oh my gosh, it's King, I was just telling all my friends about your game. Oh, are you still playing? I thought maybe you gave up on helping me to impress my sis. Yeah, she seems busy, but that shouldn't stop us from having our own fun. Oh, oh, you're gonna love this. Remember when you said you wanted more drama? These guys are all theater veterans, certified acting professionals. We came up with a bunch of great ideas. Andromeda, what was your idea again? Okay, so I'm here, Monsters Discovering Epic Adventure. So I think Act 2, we go to the most epic place imaginable. The Final Frontier, a world beyond the stars, space opera for the ages. I don't know about that. You always want to do space. I thought we were doing my cowpoke idea this time. Dingus saloons, duels, a high noon. That's pretty epic. Sounds like live alive where I'm at now. Holy cow. Compared to adventure in Spain's the galaxy, hardly. I'll play cowpoke Velma, but only if your cattle can handle a vampire attack. A what attack? SM. How do you say it? S me? SM? Whatever. SM, please. The Wild West's appeal is, is its gravity realism. You can't be a vampire. Fine, then I want to do space too. A vampire would never survive in space. There's nowhere to hide from the sun. That's actually kind of true. I never even thought about that. Jeez. I bet there's a way we can make everyone's idea work. What are you thinking? Uh, well, we're already doing the heroic fantasy thing, so everyone should just do that instead. No one gets left out because there's no space opera western vampire drama to begin with. Yeah, look at us sweating over there. You know we already know it's not gonna work. What kind of phase game does have vampires? That's actually true. I have a whole solar system of culture and I won't play without them. Hang on guys, we're just talking this out a little. I know we can make this work for everyone. Sorry, Avery, this is starting to sound like a lot of rules and cowgirls don't play by the rules. I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna get a herd some cattle of my own. It's gonna be epic. Felt my weight. Great, now I have no recruit for a new engineer. Anyone else who turned down the sun is welcome to join me. Rude. We can at least work with vampires in, right, King? Dude, I need to go brood in the shade anyways. Hostile Luego, darlings. What? There's vampires in the fantasy. Jeez, that was a lot more drama than I was ready for. Well, hope you win some, lose some, right, buddy? Nah, don't worry. This kind of thing happens all the time. It does? That sounds exhausting. It is, but also means I know exactly what to do. Those guys are also creative. They'll just need their own place where they can all be creative together. I'm conjuring an idea with my magical fantasy powers. Are you sure we can't cut our losses and head for the playground? In the middle of a French emergency? Sorry, King. No can do. Just think of all the scope. Uh, think of the scope they all bring the fantasy. Plenty of heroes get attacked by aliens that are uh, negotiate with the undead. Or perform laborious farming and landscaping chores for fun. Blah, I guess it'll, uh, if it'll come to that, if it'll get you to come play with me, we can try some of that stuff. Yay, okay, okay. I have the perfect idea, but I need some time to put it together. Can you try to convince everyone to come back here and check it out? You're gonna uh, do great at that. Sure, okay, I'll do my best. Spectacular. Friendship emergency, start. Avery, you're just making a restaurant again. All right, well, let's go find our find these uh, friends of ours, or... I guess friends of Avery's? Are they even Avery's friends? Something tells me that, like, they're not even Avery's friends. They're just, like, people that they, that Avery met. Avery's such a funny character. I was saying in the one episode that this should be, like, a cartoon, honestly. Like, man, I would love this as a cartoon. Also, when did I get this hat? What do I have? Whoa, 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 Let me go here. Let me see. So, yeah, we have a painter hat. When did we do that, even? I do actually, I actually don't remember making half this stuff. But anyways, yeah, we're here and we're gonna make the best of it. So let's go ahead and try and find these guys. I this one I kind of got lucky with finding them, so we'll see. Oh wait, there's a friend down here. They're nearby, I can feel it. What's nearby? Enemies? No, pots. Pots, I feel them looming above me. It's freaking me out. Also, I'm allergic to ceramic. Please destroy them. I can't take it. Alright, well we can do that. I don't know where these pots are at, but let's see if we can find these pots. Uh 
We got one at least. So let's see if we can jump up here and find more. Oh wait, there is one up here. Dude, how do you feel the how do you feel this thing? It's like five billion. Oh, it's about to fall on you. Are they gone? Was that it? I think we already got most of these last episode. How about you, dude? You you did it, they're gone? Yep, all gone. No more pots. Oh good. Um, yay, thanks, etc. Yeah, just uh I was on uh so unnerved that I never appreciate them. The craftsmanship, the artwork. Oh uh, sorry. Maybe the greatest enemy was actually the greatest friend. I need to learn more about pots. Thank you for without you, I would have stayed afraid. So see you in town. See you there. All right. Well, we got our own like potter named Scooter. All right. Let's go up to a high here and see if we can find where everyone would be. I think that that down there was like actually one of the spots that one of the people I wanted to do, but I'm not gonna do that yet. Man, this zone's like so massive, dude. There's so much to do. I know, I know, Andromeda is nearby on one of these ledges. I'm just gonna try and find Andromeda. I forget where the cowpoke is. Wait, All wait right, sorry about that. I'm not even sure what happened. I think my capture card died on me. It is it is kind of warm back here, so I wonder if that's not But we did find something over here on a quest to the top of the mountain. A diabolical witch survived to switch gravity. We had turned upside down or we else would fall into the sky. Another thing about it, she probably just made up in the spot. That's why she's the best. Did we talk about that? Did we see that one last time? I forget if we saw it last time. If you couldn't tell, this is a different recording session now, so it's like. I think this might be the cowpoke down here. Yeah, that, this is uh, them. All right. Then, uh, Dennis, stay away from that cactus. You always hurt yourself. Fuck. Cattle, uh, cattle don't pick their nose. Oh, it's you. Sorry if you uh, kind of caught me in the middle of something. This is how playing cowpoke usually goes. Yeah, I mean, no. Well, uh, we were crossing this peaceful prairie, but Xander shouted snake and they all went berserk. Normally, I just let them tire themselves out, but they're real wound up this time. Sounds like you hand, partner. Really want to round them up? You betcha, uh, lasso up those cattles right quick. But you know, in a nice way. Normally, I wouldn't ask help from a stranger, but I guess you're a friend of Avery's. Alright, King, you have to go, uh, you have a go at it. If you manage to round up these very full, I'll be mighty grateful. Oh, we can't break these. Alright, well, let's go ahead and... So, all we have to do is talk. Uh, whoa, was there something shiny over by your sister? Shiny that one time? Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go ahead and keep finding these. Whoa, excuse, uh, exercise is very important. Hey, last one, race back to your sister, uh, loses, ready to go. Well, that was easy, and then one last one. He was up here somewhere, wasn't he? Dude, where is he at? Where is he at? Dude, where is he at? I literally, I know he was right here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I found you. I'm an evil prairie goblin, I'm gonna get you. All right, there we go, we got them all. Well, Velma, what do you think? I'll be a god of all, and good time too. I owe you, king. It's good to hear you, actually, because once more ice cream, Xander, shush. All right, oops, uh -huh, moo. Yeah, there you go. Sure, anyways, Avery is... <laughs> Excuse me, all of you, king, uh, is talking right now. He has a talking pillow. Yeah, I love them all. I just can't help it. Well, here's the thing. I hear Avery's got some crazy scheme to get the thing. I, I don't buy it, but I owe, so I'll go up. Okay, there you go. Easy enough. Oh, wait, we can get a cowboy hat. Let's go ahead and make that. I can I make it? Oh, I used the wrong button. That's why. All right, well, there we go. So now, can I break these? I can't break these, dude. Why can't I break these? Oh, well. So now we got to continue on here. I do actually like the cowboy hat. It's kind of kind of nifty. But there was a... We were already there. Were we into the, uh, the cavern area? Because we need to find the cavern area. That's like where we got to go next. What's over here? Amphitheater, so that's amphitheater over here. Ah, oh, yeah, actually we are getting close because look at all these Yeah, all these candles over here. I mean, we're getting close to where we want to be Could it possibly? Yeah, there we are down here. Haha <laughs> That yeah, looks like a cool little that cool music on I told you this place was important later. So let's go ahead and talk Ah, mortal bumbles in the dark domain. You did not heed the post of warning now You will pay dearly under your legend. No evil monster can defeat me after you, you uh, after your awful take on vampires, you're not worth my effort. No, your punch will be ice, be the icy sting of my cold shoulder. Oh, that's it. Okay, ouch. I guess the shoulder sure was cold. I forgot. I do have something important to tell you. Time uh, for a second. No, really, it's a message from Avery. I want you to come back and see some of the cool vampire in the amphitheater. If you come back, I'll be a vampire too. If you would grant you the honor, you're you're worthy of vampire mantle. Hey, worthy, I gotta find yourself worthy. Fine question. What could you possibly offer me, an immortal being of the night who thirsts for evil and desires of the darkness? 
would take an offering of nothing less. <gasps> ice cream. Ice cream? The ice cream card is here. Forget everything you said. If you bring me a, a cone of my favorite shortbread, I will consider you uh, apologize. Really? If I was bringing ice cream, you'll be right over there? So tantalizing and close, isn't it? I've pleaded with the vendor of the past to join me, but in shape, but in no avail. Like, come on, it's just measly river to cross over the car. It can't be that bad. So yeah, this cave has many amenities, but ice cream is not one of them. Bring me some, I'll discuss your right request to be immortal. How hard can that be? Let's go ahead. Can I break these? No, you can't break them. Just knock them over. Well, sir, can I get some ice cream? That's right. I'd like to take ice cream, please. It's three bucks. Only three bucks? I have a great deal for you. Here's my goods vendor. Salute from a quest. This is pouring up. Take out bag. <laughs> Take out bag. You know, cash, dollars, it's three dollars. Okay, hear what you're saying. I'll give you 300 of my loot for one cone. The entire greasy out takeout bag? No, I don't think that boss would appreciate that. Yeah, so we gotta get money. Hey, SME, please, uh, problem. The ice cream person isn't playing. They re won three real dollars. <laughs> so needy. Do you have adult money? I have 50 cents. Wait, no, 55. I have 40, almost a dollar between us. Hey, Joe. Hey, skills. Bill, it's SM. Oh, that's awesome. Nice to meet you. Hi. Oh my god, this is so cute. I love this. Yeah, no actual dollars. Circling through Jean's gig economy right now. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take a sip of water though. I need some water. Big sis. Yeah, why not just ask sis right off the bat? I love the background too, like them just actually Hey big sis. Out. Hello, Jill. Hey King's big sis. Hello, number I don't recognize. That's so cute that like this this game has so much deep lore that you like it's so it's so cute. You have possible to drop Mara some money? I wanna buy ice cream for my friend. You want me to wire your nickel? Are you still there? Sorry I had to catch my breath. I just sent you six dollars. Go get yourself one too. Oh my goodness. I do have other stops to make, you know. You'll be glad I waited because I got now like two ice cream cones. Six dollars right here on my phone. I'm sure you have an app or something. Here's send to this account. Oh my gosh, there's more than one Sherbert. I'll make one of those, okay. Yeah, so, man, I, I love that quest. It's so cute. It's like, it's there's so much, like, lore to this game that people don't realize. Like, man. Vampire's x it's red. This is the flavor I think it is. Look at that scared gator. Man, it's it's so cute. I can't stand this game, dude. It's so cute. All right, there we go. Let's talk to you. Here's your ice cream, immortal one. Indeed, I accept your treat. The Great Langs want to acquire it. Your past transgressions are pardoned. I shall grant you the request. Prepare thyself. Put these on. Oh, cool. Thanks. Look at me. I'm a vampire too now. Sibling of the night. Let us feed on your ice cream and labor. You really touched your ice cream. What flavor is it again? Probably the darkest flavor of the thirstiest monsters. Black cherry. I was going to say it is sherbet. Like, yeah, it's a black cherry sherbet. Want to be? I'm done. Ready to go meet Avery at the amphitheater? Foolish king, I never agreed to return with you. Sudden men are willingly, you are now both bound by darkness. Oh, I got that. And that is a vampire curse to the desire uh, to reach out. Alas, we cannot, uh, all we can do is wait for another mortal to wander by or do our bidding. What well, if I just leave? So now I have to stand here forever. But I really want to, as do I, yet mustn't stay. Good lord, because we can't leave, I suppose, so. Solution makes sense. Uh, magic spell, of course, yeah. Well, I'm a vampire, but I still have hero magic. Cast my secret protecto from Sunno. Amazing, I never knew heroic thrall had so many perks. You have opened my eyes. I only hope that everyone else can accept my ways you have. Yeah, vampire stuff is kind of fun and tasty. As a talk about gratitude, I will not use my unbound power to lay waste to this world. I appreciate it. Way back to, uh, back to, oh my gosh, we can't talk. Facing the brightest way we can, the sun we can last. Oh my god, why can't I not talk today? Anyways, that is Velma taken care of. Now there's just one more, and that is Andromeda. So let's go ahead and climb up the rest of the, the way here. And we got a new hat on too. Look at that. We actually haven't gotten any swords or anything though. That's kind of bizarre. I, I didn't realize we got like no swords or anything. 
Can we hit those? Hey, we can. All right, let's try and hit this one now. All right, there we go. All right, now we need to find Avery. Where's Avery at? Uh, the mountain's over here, dude. The mountain's over here. Oh, all right, sorry about all that stuff. Whoa, I didn't want to quit the game. Sorry about everything going on there. Like, this recording is pretty scuffed anyways. I actually don't even know how far into the recording I am now. I feel bad because, like, my I was, like, using my external capture card for some reason. Because, like, my internal one, I had to restart my computer to get going. I thought I was using my external. And my external is kind of junk. I remember why I don't use it. <coughs> oh, my God. I'm, like, I'm freaking burping like crazy, dude. I'll tell you what. It's also so warm in here. I don't know if that's, like, causing issues, too. Because my mouse is, like, kind of laggy doing that, too. Whoa! Anyways, let's go ahead and try and find uh find Andromeda now. Because that's where we're heading, anyways. We're heading back up, anyways, to try and find Andromeda. Let's just use these here. Because he's up here somewhere. I know he's up, like, in the upper area. Thanks for everything, Traveler. What, what do we do with him? How do we help him out? So you just run to all these people and you have, like, no idea how you help them or anything. And, like, later on, it's like, there's so many freaking people in this game. All right, audio and all that should hopefully still be good, but. All right, now we need to find Andromeda. I know he's up on the mountain. I knew he's up on the mountain, but. Now to find where on the mountain is bigger question. Because I thought he was close by, like over here or something. Is he not, though? Unless he's over this way. I wonder if he's not over this way. He might be over this way. Replenish my, replenish my flying dude. Oh, he's it's right there, dude. Like, can you open your eyes, dude? Anyways. There we go. Let's go and help Andromeda. Ah, it's you again. Green one. So you finally realized this pure audio sci-fi setting? Sure. Yeah, space is totally better than high fantasy, I've decided. More importantly, Avery wants to show you some really cool science thing back at the amphitheater. Intriguing, but you couldn't have come at a worse time. We're deep, uh, deep in enemy territory surrounded by space monsters. That's fine. I fight all sorts of monsters. Space one should be no problem. So sure of yourself, and you don't even have a blaster. Come think of it, you don't have a uh, protective suit either. Uh, magic? My cool fantasy spells protect me from vacuums or whatever. Magic? Technology surpassed Space Federation? Sounds too good to be true. I smell a space monster lie. Could it be that you've, uh, you're native to this strange planet, but you could only mean... You've led them straight to me. Cutting ruse. Well, no, I'm not with them. Even if they do kind of look like me. <laughs> they do. If you true are uh, to your word, then help me dispatch these monsters. I will lay down cover and fire from here. Okay, do we get the blaster yet, or what do we get the blaster? I thought we got the blaster, then, but I guess not. No, I didn't want that. Okay, there we go. I'm like still trying to get used because I I feel like everything's like freaking bending the wrong way, dude. Or like I'm, I keep hitting B for A. Uh, there's another one. There we go. Is that all of them? No, we have one over there. They do look like me. Green one, you defeated them. Impressive, green one. My apologies for down your uh, ludicrous, lud ludicrous notions of space magic. That's okay. After all, uh, magic is just like science we don't understand, right? We need to touch the process notions later, wizard. There's still a danger afoot. Quickly, take this. It's a foam dart blaster, the idea tool for losing foam darts. Space aliens rarely travel in such small packs. It's only a matter of time until... Oh God, they've arrived even quickly. Wizard, blast them all. And thank you so much again for making loud noise. Uh, uh, Windows, whatever you are. Windows updates. That is actually like the... Probably might be the best like shooting weapon you can get in the game. Spell is nearly one, wizard. But whoa, the mother ship. There's no time we must dispatch it before it uh, attacks. All right, oh yeah. Should be easy enough to get rid of it. Get rid of the get rid of the the space thing. There we go. I must say I never expected to defeat alien hordes side by side with a magician. Me neither. Maybe an alien invasion in fantasy land could be fun after all. I suppose I could blind my creativity, or buy my creativity to just one plan for the sake of my peers. In the meantime, I'll return home base, consort with Avery in their discussion. Till we meet again, may you outpost the light that guides you, wizard. And may all your wildest dreams come true, spaceman. Alrighty, everyone should be back at the amphitheater. Time to go see everybody's big plan. But we also got... Lightsaber, baby. Let's go, yeah. Actually, I used this one a lot in my main playthrough, too. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. 
It's actually, I, I, I actually have another game that I want to start playing through, but I've also been playing through Xenoblade. I've got too many games to play through right now, dude. I'll tell you what. More than anything tonight, I just want a freaking map. I'll tell you what. It was just down here, dude. How did I not see that? All right. It made perfect sense. Even if science, uh, science boy decides it works, it sure as heck won't fit the far, uh, farm. You shouldn't worry about that. Uh, what does fly on a farm? Their prime abduction. Throw my adapted to threaten their deck back in. Ah, me and my aliens. Both haven't changed a bit. That might be a good time to have my idea. Really, you think so? All right. Head of one, here's my big idea. Yeah, what if we took all the slimes and put them my hats on them? Every, what's the other idea? The one that's supposed to make everyone work together? All right, that idea. That idea will make space, uh, space fairs, cowfolk, and vampires all come together as one. Well. This ought to be good. I think that we should all get together and open a restaurant. Dude, why are you just making a restaurant again? The answer to all these questions is very simple. I forget. What? Sorry, I have one. I couldn't stop thinking about the slimes and hats. Can you imagine the, uh, one of them in violet, uh, one's in witch cap, and the ones in blue? Maybe, yeah, uh, get another two, minute to think. I don't want to start business with people who don't appreciate me. At least being ground that. Is this media German? I have a field of asteroids that needs navigating. There's that name. Maybe I'll find a nice sunny asteroid field too. You can't, and you know that. Wait, don't go. I'm sure I remember. Maybe next time, Avery. No, no, I can uh, let them leave again. Hey, what about food? What about it? Restaurants need food. Farmers uh, have food, don't we, uh, Velma? That we do. And we need waiters to carry the food around. Tiny energetic waiters. Okay, see where we're heading. And it's in space, right? Well, no, it's probably not in space. But we have to cook the food on something, maybe some advanced technology. Of course, warp technology that uh, on an earthbound planet will be unmatched in popularity. And have a restaurant ambience. You'll need interior de uh, decorator and charismatic ho hostess. And after everything, I uh, I think of all the stuff that fits the fantasy world after all. What do you say, Velma? Shall we combine our forces to show some mystical pa uh, patrons truly out of this world of cuisine? And truly villainous amphitheater. Well, I do have these kids under uh, for their ice cream, but I can handle two more goofballs when I uh, get back at it. I start making the menu. I'll start folding napkins. I'll draft some blueprints. Let's split up and get started. Well, there we go. We did it. We got them to work together for once. I knew we'd all work together eventually. Things bring everyone together, King. Sure, I'm glad you asked me too. Everyone's ideas turned out to be a lot of fun. Didn't I tell you they were all creative? How about the playground? We'll definitely be there. We have so many great ideas. We can't hardly stand it. I hope you're ready for all the drama you can handle. I hope so too. And there we go. That's another quest down. Oh my god, why is my cup all the way back there? My like cup of water just disappeared. I was like, what the freak? Alrighty, but there we go, guys. That is another zone down. Before I go ahead and end this episode, let's go ahead back and see what they can create. But look at that. How great is that? Alright, hold on one second. I guess I do need to actually do this real quick. Hold on one second, guys. Alrighty, sorry about that. I was flying back and then got a call and it's like but anyways let's go ahead and finish up this episode man i'm if this thing didn't save so like sporadically i'd say I'd just redo this episode with all the freaking crap we have going on but we can't so it's all good we'll just go ahead and finish up this episode and hopefully next episode will be a bit better hero hero i think this starts you have finally reached your journey's end let us dance on the merry i really know we stopped them press big sis uh, there's much left to do we're going to need everyone help to impress your sis Luckily, I have the perfect idea that I'll give everyone a chance to shine. Ooh, this should be uh, going here. All right. Man, we have enough to actually start the next one, too. Jeez, I'm feeling it. And let's see. There we go. Well, I'm out of ideas. Think it'll be good enough? Everyone sure looks like they're having fun. I think we did A-okay. Hey, right. We got to show sis we're having fun. I declare this building done. Well, there you go. The juice bar. No milk. No milk. Ah, uh, my throat returns to come from me in the darkness. Yeah. There we go, I'll tell ya. And this is such a cool zone, I'll tell you what. They really did a good job with, like, all this. Like, this is all freaking wild, dude. You can sit here. Dude, if I was a kid, I would, like, play this game for hours. Just, like, wandering around. Being silly, dude, I'm telling ya. So freaking, so freaking cool, dude. So freaking cool, I love it. And there he is, there he is, chilling, yeah. Well, there we go, guys. There's another zone down. 
All right, well, sorry about the crummy episode, dude. Between the thing crashing a bunch, having to cut halfway through, and having to cut in the middle of flying back. It's been a crummy episode, but hey, we got more to go on this game. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you all in the next episode of Let's Play Little Gator Game.